other guys. We're on one point perspective. And as you can see, this object does not touch the picture plane. In my previous videos, I've given you guys objects that are lying on the picture plane, which makes it quite easy when things touch the picture plane. You drop those points straight down and you'll know exactly where your points are going to be. In this case over here, these points don't touch the picture plane at all. And already I have constructed these lines to connect to the stationary point and construct constructed the template um, to the vanishing point. Okay, the reason this is a template is because this does not touch the picture plane. Remember what we said, that if it did touch the picture plane, I'd be able to project this straight down, and I'll then go ahead and draw this in final line. All right, so now that I have actually found the points on the picture plane, remember, these points here projected down to the stationary point cuts the picture plane at this point here, and I'll have to drop a vertical line from there. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my construction lines and I have already found the points. I'm going to drop it straight down. Guys, if you want to use a numbering system, that would even be better so that you could actually follow which numbers actually need to connect to each other. So if I had this as one, two and three, then what I have done right now is said that this point over here is, represents two points, an upper and a lower point, And I'd label this point three and in my front view, this point here would be three and that point there will be three. So I need the points that are called three to connect to each other. All right, there we have it. So I'm going to just carry on. In my example, I don't have numbers, but you can go and replay the video and listen to exactly that explanation. All right, I've projected this as, as my roof tip down to the picture plane. And this is obviously the line that is projected from my roof tip in my front view to the vanishing point connecting or intersecting with the one projected down from my top view. Okay. Here I go again, touching the picture plane, connecting it down to the necessary lines. Right, now I'd like to quickly point out which are the points that I've just found. These three points over here, remember this point here represents two points, an upper and a lower point, so does this one over here. But this one over here is the roof tip. Okay, so I've got five points to find. Let's go and find them. This one here is the lower and the upper point. On the other side, I have the lower and the upper point. And the roof tip can only be found all along this side over here. Okay. So I'd like to use the analogy of a cable cart. The template that you see over here that I'm going to be using is to help me find the image a little further along. Remember, it will only be found along the actual constructed lines to my vanishing point. It can't be found anywhere into these blank spaces over here. All right, this cable cart is connected to the top of a mountain via these cables. There we go. Right, and if I can only run or pull this cable cart up the mountain, it would have to move all along these cables. So this point over here had to move all along the cable to that point over there. This point over here had to move all along the cable to that point over there. And so this point over here had to move all along the cable to that point over there. Now this depth that you guys see over here, this here is found in my top view. This is something or, the, uh, or information that has not been given to me in my front view and that I can only find in my top view. So that distance from the picture plane up to the first surface of the house or the object is typically this little distance over here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and find the back surface as well. The back surface, I'm going to start with the side over here projected down to my stationary point, cuts the picture plane over here and gets projected straight down. Nice vertical line. I'm going to do the same with the tip of the roof. There's my tip of my roof, projected down, cuts the picture plane and goes down to the tip of my roof. Okay, remember what we said about the cable cart scenario that this point over here 
can only be projected all along. It can only move up to the, the top of the mountain via this cable. And I need to know where to stop. And this point over here tells me where to stop. So there it goes, gets projected down and connects with this line over there. I'm going to put a little mark on it. There it is there. Right, the same with this point over here, gets projected down to the picture plane, a vertical line from the picture plane. And I'm going to find the upper and the lower point further back. Now you might note that I haven't really gone ahead and found this point here yet. This point here, I could go and find, drop that down to the necessary line, but will I be able to see this point? Remember, if I'm standing at the stationary point, that's me, okay, and I'm looking at this object, I'll be able to see everything from the left hand side all the way to the right hand side. So anything that falls behind that line is going to be hidden detail. So I'm going to go ahead now and go and join up my lines with final lines, like so. Okay. And I'm also just going to clean it up slightly. Pleasures of zooming in. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and fill in the necessary lines and final line from there to there, all my points. And my final object would look like that. Okay, let's quickly reset the page into its original position. Right, so there you can see everything that is touching the picture plane does need to get projected down. Remember, this object does not, however, lie on the picture plane. I've used construction lines to connect each one of the points to my stationary point, And then when it touches the picture plane, it gets dropped down straight away. You'll now notice that this cable cart has moved further up the cables towards the table mountain and stopped in this position over here. I found this uh, image over here by using the template that I'm going to call my cable cart. And um, I can only do that if I have a template. All right, that template is found by simply projecting each one of these points, each one of these three points straight down and typically a Another side view or a front view will be given to project the actual hearts for the template. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope it helps your understanding. And um, if there are any questions, please comment or like the video. Thank you very much.